In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the frequency function in Google Sheets. In our example data set right here, we have the applicant name and their date of applications. Now let's say we want to know how many applicants have applied on the same day. We can do that by using the COUNTIF function. So if we put in our equal sign and put in COUNTIF or select it right here, we can select our range comma and put in our criterion. If we press enter, it will give us the value of three, meaning there were three applicants on this same day. So if we check our range, we have, let's see, 12, 12, 12, that's one, two, three. Now, what if we want to count how many applicants have applied from February 10 to February 15? We can do that by just changing our criterion in our count if formula. So we're going to change this cell reference and put in our criterion. We're going to put this within quotation marks. Let's put in lesson or equal to our date, which is February 15. And if you press enter, you'll be given the value of seven. Now, if we check, we have February 10 to February 15. Let us count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So basically, this is what the frequency function does. It counts the frequency of a value within a certain group that is in this case called a class. So instead of a criterion, we have classes in our frequency function. Let me show you what I mean. So we're going to group our dates and we're going to set this group with an upper limit. In this example, we have the latest date within the group. So from February 10 to February 15, February 15 would be our upper limit because it's our latest date. So let's put in February 15. For our next group, that would be from after February 15, that's February 16 to February 20. February 20 being the latest, again, that would be our upper limit. And finally, our last group would be from February 21 to February 25, again, February 25 being our upper limit. Now, for the last one, we're going to leave it blank because in our formula, it will be understood that whatever it is that's after February 25 will be the last group. So let's start with our formula. Type in frequency, select it right here. Select your data range, comma and your classes. Now our classes would be our upper limits right here. And if you press enter, you have the number of applicants from those dates, or in this case, from those groups of February 10 to February 15, February 16 to February 20, February 21 to 25, and February 26 to the latest February 29. So it has given us the same value right here. And if you do check, it is all correct. So that's how to use the frequency function here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.